This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest AOS IP alpha build and this is the official ROM based on Android 10 and I'm going to be trying to show you how the ROM itself actually is and this ROM file I would say it's just 500 MB so it's really less considering a custom ROM for this Redmi K20 Pro device and the like thing is you need a G apps to flash this ROM with otherwise you won't get any Google Play services or Play Store things like those so I have used the OpenG apps, Nano G apps here. So if you're flashing this ROM, flash the ROM file, the ARM64 10.0 and the Nano G apps file from OpenG apps website. I have downloaded that and flashed it. And I have also used the Fcrypt disabler because I'm decrypted. And I have used the latest Orange Box recovery and I am on the latest MIUI 11.0.3 firmware. Let's continue with the video. This is how the home screen looks like. Let me show you the launcher itself. And as you can see, this is a quick step launcher and these are the settings you get for the stock launcher you have the google now cards and stuff and here to the left as you can see we have the google now cards and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the quick settings panel but a disappointment that i can clearly say already is that there is no double tap to sleep on the like home screen or even on the status bar no double tap to sleep at all over here right now present so that's a bummer and i hate to like use the power button every time i want to lock the device but yeah let's continue with this rom so what are the like most interesting feature about this rom if you ask me well that would be the figment scanner let me lock the device i don't have the always on display turn on so the screen is totally off and right now i can place my finger over here and it shows this cool animation and it unlocks let me show it to you again as you can see the whole screen is off i just touch the figment scanner from here and as you can see it did unlock and it showed that cool animation well, you can have the like always on display enabled too. Let me show you with the always on display enabled. And this is how it looks like. And with the always on display, as you can see, if you're noticing, this is how the Fingwood scanner would look like. And with here, like I can touch the Fingwood scanner and you can see the unlocking speed. It's not bad at all. The unlocking speed is really good and the Fingwood scanner works really well here. So I don't have a complaint regarding the like unlocking speed over here, but that's cool that it works with the whole display off and always on display on so that's great i was using it with the always on display off because in other roms it's not present so here it looks really cool with the animations and stuff with the edge lighting animation and let me go into the settings this is how the about section looks like first of all in the android version section we have the android version s10 of course the security patch is latest of february 5th 2020 this is the 4th february 2020 build android 10 best alpha build and the stock kernel over here is the perf kernel let me go back from here in the system panel we have a aos ip updater so that's cool you can check for updates from here as you can see let me go back we have the developer settings and the front camera led like sounds and stuff is there and talking about these like camera sounds let me show you the stock camera is not so interesting this is the cyanogen mod kind of camera or the snapdragon camera here and as you can see it's not like too pro here it's quite basic ui and i am not sure if i am actually liking it or not so i'll definitely recommend you flashing the anx camera if you would like otherwise like you can still use this camera for basic usage i've also installed the google camera here and here as you can see the google camera 7 is working fine if you want to install this google camera card right here to like use the whole 0.6x or 2x telephoto lenses and stuff you can do that also night sight and stuff works well and by the way the google camera i have installed separately guys and the snapdragon camera is present by default here now let me go to the settings and in the display settings over here you can see brightness level and stuff is there wallpaper is there dark theme etc and colors you can control natural boosted or adaptive then we have the lock screen display we have the always on as off right now but you can also use on like always on turned on and i have this new notification turned on so that i can see the edge lighting looks cool pocket detection mode is there and the font size display size etc you can control anti flicker mode is there or the dc dimming feature if you are into that you can use it the customization section is inside this owl's nest 
and here we have the status bar icons and in the system icons we have the headset bluetooth headset icons and you can see there are a lot of things like show low priority and stuff those kind of things are there show 4g instead of lte etc are there and the chronic logo is there use old mobile data type is there then you can select the faulty icon as your liking as you can see i have been using this faulty icon you can also use the vivo icon too if you would like and the am pm style is there and the date option is there to show up on the status bar and there is the battery style we have the dotted field circle text etc battery percentage is there so that you can choose it next to the icon or inside the icon battery percentage when charging is there by the way fast charging is working fine here not a problem and here we have the traffic indicator if you would like to use it i use a separate app for this now inside quick settings we have the battery percentage in the quick settings panel quick setting opacity control is there brightness slider etc is there then we have the brightness icon too let me go back to the notifications and here we have the battery charging light so you can turn it on if you'd like and the edge lighting option is there you can change the edge lighting color from here however you like as you can see you can choose whatever color you need from this whole customization section inside navigation we have invert layout options so that you can invert the layout of two button or three button navigation if you are using those inside hardware buttons we have the screen of animation you can choose it to crt if you'd like and advanced reboot is there let me show you this is how it works and advanced reboot is turned on so you can directly boot to the recover your fast boot right now with the power menu and let me go back to the lock screen here we have the lock screen shortcuts battery info etc show media cover art is there power menu is there like in the lock screen itself visualizer is there you can turn it on and off as you're liking and here we have the gestures option so inside AOSP gestures we have the activate torch option and this long press for torch is working fine here not a problem inside system navigation you have this gesture navigation two button and three button navigation and with this gesture navigation there is no like hide the pill option so yeah that's a bummer but yeah i don't use the hide the pill option in any way so i would say i am fine with it kind of let me go back and screen of fingerprint option is there as you can see if you enable this that's when only the like, screen of fingerprint will work otherwise this feature will not work so please turn it on if you are using the screen of fingerprint option like whenever you have the always on display turned off even then the fingerprint will work let me go back and here we have the advanced settings and here we get the themes option and by the way the like let me show you the dark theme quickly because i want to show you the default dark theme looks like this and if you notice the background it's not fully dark and as you can see over here it's kind of a gray look so i have created a theme of the red black and if i apply it if you're noticing as you can see the background kind of turns totally black and right now the red accent is there and the like background dark color is there so that the amulet display turns off the other pixels so that's cool the default dark theme does not have the like totally dark background so you gotta get kind of like used to a different theme or something let me turn off the dark theme and also you can like turn off heads up and stuff from here there is no three finger screenshot gesture so i have been using this kind of screenshot toggle and it works fine not a problem here let me go back to the battery talking about the battery life the battery life is not bad at all here are some screenshots and as you can see you get seven to eight hours of screen on time easily now let me go back to the sound settings and here we have the direct and sound enhancer you can choose it to youth edition and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty good we have the presets too and hi-fi audio direct is there and you can disable the screenshots or the sound from here if you would like and the dial pad tones and stuff you can disable it too and talking about the performance the performance has been really good not a problem here but the google pay does not work right out of the box if you want to get the google pay working you have to flash magisk and use the magisk guide to use google pay and stuff like the banking apps and we have the widevine l1 support here so that's not a problem and wi-fi and stuff is working fine let me show you the in-call ui so as you can see this is how the in-call ui looks like i have the wi-fi call turned on so the wi-fi calling or voice over wi-fi is working fine recording call option is there and you can also get the video calling option if you'd like so that's great that we have almost everything regarding the calls and stuff in this rom now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management here let's open twitter play store instagram now let's open spotify now youtube Well, it's taking quite a lot of time. 
let me open all labs from memory again as you can see the app open up speeds and the ram management is really good i have no problems at all with the ram management here all the apps staying in memory not a problem and yeah, i can switch between apps just like this pretty quickly and smoothly not a problem here with the like ram management and stuff and with this app drawer you can just swipe up to get the like app drawer of course and you can search for any app like telegram here as you can see you can search for any app right here and you can get the app like on your fingertips and here is the android score of this rom so as you can see from the PUBG graphic settings you can play on hdr and extreme so that's not a problem you can play on the highest settings possible on PUBG, and the gaming performance should be pretty good over here so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel now that if you have not yet this is tiro from kdn tech signing off for today with the redmi k20 pro and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now